Now, just close your eyes for me and imagine a pizza and a Yorkshire pudding sticking together and you've got something that is delectably decadent and delicious. It's a spinach, ricotta and mushroom Yorkshire pudding pizza and it is absolutely mind-blowingly good. And it's from my book, Comfort, Food to Soothe the Soul. To start off, we need to get a pan really, really hot. I'm gonna do this on the hob. Full heat and a good glug of oil in the pan. While the pan's getting hot, make the Yorkshire pudding batter. Dead easy, dead simple. Four eggs into a bowl. Beat those with a bit of milk. Into the bigger bowl with the flour and salt. The salt is so important, not just for flavour, but also for structure. It helps to develop gluten. So if you leave the salt out, you might not have a very good Yorkshire pudding. So always add the salt. I'll whisk those together. I'm gonna add a good glug, a good drop of the wet ingredients to first form a very thick paste. It's easier to get all of those lumps of flour fully incorporated into the liquid when it's thick. So look how thick that is. It's like something from a horror film, but that's exactly how it should start off. And then when you've got that and it's smooth, you can slowly add a bit more of the liquid, a drop at a time. And as soon as all the lumps have gone, shove a bit more liquid in. And you can see you've got a perfectly smooth, lump-free batter. I'm gonna put the batter in the hot oil, but before I do, take the whisk, dip it into the batter, and drop it into the fat. And if it sizzles, then it's hot enough to pour the batter in. So in with the batter. And then straight into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. So while it does that, I'm gonna get on with the filling. Couldn't be simpler. It's just some spinach. And all I've done is just in a hot pan, wilted that down, stir it occasionally. And as soon as it gives up the ghost and becomes very, very mushy, it's done. And then I've put that into a sieve, set that over a bowl of water, let it cool, just squeeze all of that moisture out and let it fall away into the bowl below. In this pan, I've got my onions. They're just sauteing in a bit of butter. And all I'm gonna do is add the mushrooms to that. And it looks like an awful lot of mushrooms, but don't forget mushrooms are mainly just water. This will shrink down to nothing. While the mushrooms are cooking, we can get the other ingredients ready. So into the bowl, I'm gonna put some ricotta cheese and please, full fat. Don't even talk to me about low fat anything. Full fat, full sugar. This is comfort food. And pecorino cheese. You could use Parmesan. Hell, if you wanted to, you could use finely grated mature cheddar. I'm not gonna judge you. Whatever cheese floats your boat. And in this, I like a lot of nutmeg, but for me, it always has to be freshly grated nutmeg. Salt and pepper. Give that a good mix. In with the spinach. So the mushrooms have wilted down, as you can see, but they've still got a bit of shape to them. That sheer volume that we had of mushrooms has just disappeared, and that's exactly how they should be. So I'm gonna pour those into the bowl with the ricotta and the spinach and all that nutmeg. Mix all this together. And the heat of the mushrooms and the onions is going to help to soften the ricotta, which will make it a little bit easier to dollop or spread on top of our Yorkshire pudding in a minute. Our Yorkshire pudding, my Yorkshire pudding. You can make your own. OK, let's have a look at that pudding. <gasps> it's perfect. It's always one of those moments when you open the oven door and you've made Yorkshire puddings. It can either go one of two ways. This has gone the good way. Look at the size of that. It's puffed up, it's golden, it's got a crispiness to it. And I'm gonna put that gorgeous filling right on top of that. So of course, it's puffed up all over the place. So I'm gonna try and just knock it back a little bit, show it who's boss. This filling actually is one of my favorite pasta fillings. I use it in my ravioli or my tortelli, but I just thought the Italians can keep the pasta in this instance. I want Yorkshire pudding. And then if we didn't have enough cheese in there, I want some stringiness to this. So sort of a nod to the pizza. So some torn mozzarella at the top. And then back into the oven for 10, 15 minutes, just until that mozzarella has melted and it's ever so slightly golden. Look at that. It's pillowy, it's soft, it's crispy. It's topped with the most delicious topping imaginable. It's got my name all over it. And if you are dribbling right now at the sound of this, then please subscribe to The Waitrose channel.